Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new document review feature to review documents for approval. There's a few different steps to this process. We're going to start in the admin section and we're going to go to our task lists. So you now have two options for task lists. You can create a task list or a document task list. And in addition, you can change any of your existing lists from task to document if you've already set some of these up. The functionality is exactly the same as in the task section. You just type in a new name and then once your task list has been created you can go ahead and add tasks by clicking the add task button on any list. So you can see that this list is marked as a document list as well as this one and these are task lists. So once you have a task list set up for documents, let's go back into a transaction and let's take a look at what it looks like. So here's uh, one of my document lists and you can see it's indicated with a little document icon to the left of the name. And then here's a list of all the documents that are on this list. Purchase agreement, listing agreement, disclosures, and agency disclosure. And what I've done is I've linked a document from the document folder to each one of these. Basically, this would be my approved or completed document for each one of these requirements. And to link the document, you just go up to the document folder. You choose which document you want to link and you select link to task. It'll bring up a list of all of your task and document lists and then I can just select which one and click the save button. And again these are marked with a little icon telling you that this has actually been assigned or linked to one of your tasks below. So you'll want to do this for all of your approved or completed documents while you're preparing them for your broker or office manager to review. Now once I've got a document list that's ready for review, I can use the flag and let's change this to broker review. This will indicate to my broker or manager that this transaction is actually ready to be reviewed and approved. And when I've completed that, I'm basically done with the process from the agent side. Now as the broker, when you log in, you're going to want to go to your new option up above called Document Review. And here I'm going to have a list of all of my transactions. So I can select which transaction I want to look at. I'm going to select Jackson Street. And then I have a list in here of my document lists and any documents that are attached to them. So you can see this is a document list. It's called document list and it has these four documents and these are the documents that are attached to it. And to review these documents I just click on them and they will open up in the preview pane over here on the right side. This is a second list that I have down below called documents for closing and you can see I've only attached one document to this for purchase agreement. Under listing agreement there's no document attached yet. So then I can go ahead and review these for compliance and mark them accordingly. To mark them I'm going to click on the little icon on the left and I'll be able to see any existing notes that are in here. So this previously had a note on it that says needs initials. So I can either add another note to it So you can see there's my additional note, so it'll keep a running tab of all your note history. Or if I've marked it green, I've marked it approved, meaning that the document has been approved. And as the broker, once I've completed my review, if for example all my documents are reviewed and approved, I can go ahead and, flat and change the transaction flag from right here to broker approved. And now my file has been completed. If, for example, there are requirements that need to be changed. I can keep it as broker review or I can change it back to missing signatures so my agent will know to attend to those documents. 
and then back in the document folder all the notes that I've added have been updated to the document list. So I can click on the little note icon and there's my note history. This one I can see has been marked approved. Here's an additional one with a note. And then these notes are also going to be on your document list below. You can see I've got a little note icon here. And it's showing me some information, the notes on that specific property. So I can tell when I go back in to review this document list as the agent which documents I still need to address in order to get my file compliant. And that's how you use the new document review feature for Easy Coordinator. And the old document review function, which many of you are probably familiar with still, is still fully functional, which allows you to select the docs that you want to review. Click on the Review tab. And open up a window specifically to review those documents. So you now have two options in Easy Coordinator for reviewing documents for compliance.